Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to continue talking about ClickFunnels 2.0, and we're going to talk about how easy it is to upload a custom font into 2.0. You don't need any kind of uh, CSS code. You don't need any JavaScript code. You don't need anything. You can actually just upload it directly into ClickFunnels. Of course, you can still do it the old way if you had to for some reason, but here you don't have to. So I came down to settings. We did my asset sets and then we're going to go to fonts and I already have one font set up so it's really simple I'll just show you what that one looks like is you put in a name you upload a file and that's it on um, the only conditions are it needs to be a file type of TTF OTF WOFF or WOFF2 and it needs to be under one megabyte so what I did is I came into this here, uh, this is dufffonts.com. There's plenty of other font repositories around the web, just Google fonts. You'll find just dozens of them. And I said, okay, what we want is we want this mellow font right here. And I clicked on download. And so it downloaded it for me. And then what it does on a Mac at least is it automatically unzips the file. So when you click download, it gives you the zip file right here and then it automatically unzips that file and then you can see all the different fonts that are inside of this so if we pull this over here a little bit more you see we got black bowl light medium regular and semi bowl so basically you got a 900 font weight 800 700 600 uh well regular should be probably 400 and then this is like probably a 300 or 200 font way to be nice if it actually said what the exact weights were there, but I don't believe it does on this page. So I got that all downloaded. So this is in my download, so I can kill this right now and we can go back into our fonts and we're going to say we want to back out of here because we want to create a new one. So we want to upload a font and we're going to call this mellow black. I already typed that in here one time. And so we're going to call this one mellow black because we're going to use that black uh, font face. So let's uh, upload the file. So it's going to open this up for me. Again, I had to search around. I had to go into my downloads. I had to go here to find the folder, the mellow made, or the made mellow folder. And then we're going to use the black font right there. So we're going to click on that and we are going to say open and now this part's a little confusing and it actually messed me up a little bit. It says select another file. Well, there's no reason to select another file. It, um, it's already done. All we have to do is create font and we're good to go. Now, maybe let's um, actually do this again. Let me test one thing. Let's go upload the font because what I'm thinking here is let's just say the mellow all let's call this. And let's open the file and let's just put in the semi bold and say open. And now it says select another file. So let's go regular and open. And then let's do one more medium and open. And now we will create font. So what I was wondering here is was it going to take all three of them and it appears as though it did not uh, so we can just click here say download the current file and let's open that up and it doesn't really say well I can install the font if I wanted to but it appears as though it did not put in all three different weights so it appears as though uh, in a case like where we have default here it will give you each one of the weights individually and you would have to upload the weights that you wanted. But in most cases here for specialty fonts, a lot of times you're only going to probably use two, maybe three different weights at the very most. And so then we can just put in our weight like that and we can do this. Now let's go on to a page itself. So let me go into our pages and let's find a page real quick. We'll just do some any old uh, test page here. And now let's drop in a headline element. And now let's uh, change the font on this. We will go to our settings and we will say here we want to override this. And I had it as Sinzel. Now let's come up here and we can say we want that as Mellow Black. Or we can say we want it as our Mellow All. 
and then we could also do our ninja strike which I had in there and then let's say of course we obviously can increase the font size and then if I change this here I don't think that's going to make any difference I wouldn't think so especially on these here where we put in a specific weight let's just see here if I put in thin yeah see that would not change anything because we or, or did it change it let me see here Nope, it did not. Let's go from one to the other. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it does change it. And maybe it's because I did have in more than one. I don't know. That's something that I'll have to continue playing with. I mean, it did appear to get a little bit bigger there. Hmm. Well, it could be. Um, so... Again, that's something you can play with. Um, there's no reason to uh, show you all of that in this video, but it's just really simple. You know now that you can go into here. You can go again, is down to, we'll just reload that page. Uh, we're gonna come down here. We're going to go to our settings. We're gonna go to my assets, and then we're going to click on fonts. And then once you're in here, Go out, find yourself a file with the proper extension on it and under one megabyte and upload all the custom fonts that you want. So if you got any questions, just let me know.